hey lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is melissa oti and if you're new on this channel you know the drill please kindly like this video subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that whenever i post new content on this channel you'll be the very first to find out so from time to time on this channel i always bring up immigration updates latest immigration updates. if you've been following me on this channel for a while you will know that this particular topic is something that i have been talking about remember that Sola Braverman, the uk home secretary once talked about cutting down immigration especially for dependent and the then prime minister Liz Truss wasn't entirely in support of that notion but now this trust has resigned and we currently have Rishi Sunak who is of same origin as Swela Beverman you know a lot of people were scared knowing fully whether Rishi Sunak actually reappointed Swela Beverman so people were like Do they, does it mean that they both think alike does it mean that is most likely going to support Swela Beverman's ideas because then he made a statement that he was very much interested in what Swela Beverman is doing with immigration now the news that came up just a few hours ago is that Rishi Sunak is considering cracking down on foreign student migration after net migration hits over half a million according to sarah report since the second world war this is the highest net migration that the uk have experienced i know that uk government once came up to say that nigerians and indians have the highest population of foreigners in the country now let me just read what they say now downing street has indicated that plans to bring down numbers could include putting up barriers to students bringing their dependents and cutting admissions to low quality degree courses this will be in line with proposals being explored by home secretary swela braverman who has previously complained about foreign students bringing in family members who can piggy bank onto the student visa and popping up frankly substandard courses in inadequate institutions we all know that the reality is that most i'm, I'm sorry to say but what most students do actually is that they look for courses that are not in high demand and with lower school fees like they are not actually coming to study this course because that is what they want to study or coming to the uk to study because they want to gain international knowledge like they want to study abroad most times they use this means as a means to migrate abroad so apparently so like i have noticed this move by foreigners because she has noticed that a foreign student now come into the country with their dependent to study low quality degree like this is now a means of migration and you know when it comes to migration how much can a country actually take i remember back then in america when this american visa was a thing a lot of people migrated to the america a lot of people are residents of the u.s now because of that means but now it has been stopped because apparently they've gotten the numbers that they want now now when it comes to migration like how much people can the uk actually accommodate that's just the issue. let's be reasonable because i know previous videos some persons commented that well they're actually collecting the money they need the money but yeah if you notice i've been doing a lot of q a recently i've been getting raw real life reactions from people living in the uk and you can tell that a lot of people are struggling with accommodation a lot of people are struggling with jobs this was not like this before i'm telling you i remember when i came to the uk it wasn't such a big deal to get an accommodation we got our accommodation just in within few weeks but now getting accommodation is a struggle it is it is a big problem now some landlords even insist that you must have at least six months rent before they can give you their houses it's this is not it's not the right thing to do like it is not supposed to be but because they know that they are in high demand like, and they know that a lot of foreign students come into the country with loans not actually their own money with loans from banks so they want you to prove that you are, you can actually afford it imagine paying for a two-bedroom apartment for like 900 pounds multiply 900 pounds by six isn't the number very crazy now let me go on now the uk government is considering putting up hurdles for overseas students loved ones and reducing admission to lower ranked colleges in order to reduce total numbers now let me go on an estimated 504,000 more migrants entered the uk than departed last year a sum larger than liverpool's population liverpool is a big city in the uk now they are saying that the net immigration into the uk is way more than immigration a number of people that are coming into the uk to live is way more than the number of people that are leaving the uk like <laughs> you can imagine now, now the estimates were compiled by the office of national statistics we stated that the increase was driven by unusual factors such as 
visa schemes for Ukrainians and Hong Kong citizens, as well as students arriving from outside the EU following the lifting of COVID restrictions. Now, I would like to bring this to your notice. Remember this Ukraine Russian war that is going on? The UK accommodated lots of Ukrainians into the UK, even lots of Russians into the UK. Now, they are saying that how much more can they actually accommodate? The number of people arriving into the UK with the um, study visa accounted for the longest proportion of long-term immigration of non-EU nationals. What they are trying to say is that the total of 277,000 non-EU nationals came into the UK to study and live. Like, like they came to the UK to study with no plans of living. In all of this, universities are saying that they could go bankrupt if the international study route is being stopped. So you can see that this is all about back and forth, back and forth. But my major concern right now is that why are they concentrating on the student visa? Like right now, there are so many routes which, in which you can use to come to the UK. We have the EK assistant route currently. So you have to work, like, like say you're a doctor, nurse, physiotherapist, videographer, better for you. Now let's look at it. Why are they not talking about work visa? Because people that come on here too, see, most of them might go to the UK with their dependents. Why are they not talking about these people? Why are they concentrating more on students that actually pay a lot of money to come into the UK? Now we are my driving at if you can try to explore other options. It's not just the student. I, I, I keep saying it. There's no guarantee that you're actually going to get a job that will sponsor you within the two years frame that is being given to you. And mind you, that two years doesn't even count when it comes to your immigration stay in the UK. Like two years will go very much unnoticed when they are counting, like when you're to get your ILRO and British passport. But like coming to the UK to study, it entails a lot of money, millions of naira. And then sometimes when people come, they struggle with accommodation, they struggle with getting a job that can at least help them fed for themselves. But what am I saying? If but look at other options, student visa is not even like the main thing to be honest i personally i don't even like the student round. i know that people that come in using the student rounds they come in because they have no option whatsoever but yeah if i'm to say just try to explore other options there are so many options right now you can try it out this healthcare assistant thing i know it's very difficult to actually get a job now compared to like when it was announced early this year you might explore that route and it might work fine for you because this back and forth with student round thing putting everybody on high tension some person that are currently saving their money they don't even know what to do now with the money they've saved if they should continue saving or they should just use their money to start a business in Nigeria. But the good thing is that universities are saying that they could go bankrupt if they should stop foreign students from coming into the country to study and it might also make them to increase the school fees of British folks. Like British students, their school fees will have to go higher because we know that international students, they pay way, way more higher than home students. So the little bit of positive news is that kind of stated that they understand that plans for a student visa crackdown have not moved on since the whole Home Secretary said she would look at it in October. So since Sola Biverman announced it in October, nothing has been done about it so far, which I think is a good news because the Home Office is more focused on tackling illegal immigration. That, that is small boat crossing. So at least knowing that this is what they are focusing on. And like I said in my previous video, they are going to discuss this over and over again. It's not like they will just wake up one morning. But the fact that Mr. Sunak is already talking about it or now exploring this option, I think it calls for concerns. And so if you're planning on coming to the UK to study, probably you should just extend up things or try out other options. But you know, at the end of the day, just relax. Try not to get tense. Try not to get de demotivated. I understand it's really not easy. But at the end of the day, we need to also cut the UK government some slack because when a country is overpopulated, the main reason why you leave your home country to the UK, it will not be achieved, achieved because we all know what comes to overpopulation. should not be quick to slandering them or train words at them and say, oh, after all, they're eating our money, they're eating our money. What if they eat your money and you come to the country and you don't achieve anything because obviously because the country is now breaking down due to overpopulation? of the your aim will not be achieved if you get the point so you guys let me know what you think of this update and of course thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you on in my next one bye guys